Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I got a really good question the other day from a viewer who wanted to know what my favorite baits are for catching fish. Now these viewers are not just interested in catching largemouth, smallmouth, spotted bass. They want to go out and catch numbers of fish. They enjoy catching fish. They don't care what species it is. So they want to know what my favorite baits are to just catch fish catch fish to get bites and this is something as a guide that I get a lot of times with the clients they come in the boat they don't care what they catch they just want to catch fish so I've got here a handful of baits that are very very good at catching uh, lots of different species of fish now having said that not all baits are good for catching multiple multiple different species of fish you know, if you're looking to throw topwaters, you're probably limiting yourself to a handful of bass species. Yes, you can catch some uh, muskie, some pike, but you're generally not going to catch a pile of other fish. You're usually just going to be catching your bass. And that may include maybe, you know, some white bass mixed in or stripers mixed in. But generally speaking, it's just bass. But I will say if you're looking for a good multi-species bait, generally what you're looking for is some sort of minnow or shad imitator uh, most game fish feed on bait fish and from that standpoint that's going to be your best bet for catching numbers of different types of species now i've got here a handful of baits that i really like i'll kind of walk you through what species i think they're really good at catching and some of the scenarios where i like to throw them the first one we're going to start off with is a crankbait uh, this is the berkeley money badger and a lot of you probably don't know this, but this crankbait was actually developed for walleye anglers. What the walleye anglers found is that it is great at catching bass. So not only is it a great walleye crankbait, it's a great bass crankbait. But what I have found is most game fish will eat the money badger. Most uh, crankbaits are really good at catching lots of various species, but some crankbaits are really good at catching multitudes of species. And in this case, the money badger is one that uh, I've caught tons of walleye on, tons of both largemouth and smallmouth, lots of pike. I even was catching some crappie on this at Clarks Hill Lake. So a crankbait's a really good way at generating a lot of strikes from various species. Uh, the spotted bass were eating it, the white bass, the stripers. I I've, I've catch everything on this bait. So this is one that I definitely like. This is the ghost morning dawn color. One of my favorites and a very good one for, you know, all around species. Now, I will say color is pretty important, too, because sometimes what we find is some colors are good with some species and not great with other species. So, for example, if you're fishing in the northern part of the world where you have northern pike, generally speaking, white is going to be your best bait, best color for northern. So if you're a bass angler and you're trying to limit the number of northern bites you're going to get you might want to go with a darker color like green pumpkin black and blue black those seem to not get as many northern bites but a crankbait like the money badger is a great one to go with you know i just kind of was talking about uh northern pike you know one of the best baits at generating to the critter bites is a spinner bait and if you want to get a lot of different types of species on a spinner bait throw a chartreuse or a white chartreuse in white spinner bait great way to do it this is the berkeley compact spinner bait you can see the weight is transferred down the bait uh, but this is a great bait for generating strikes from lots of species all the bass species will eat this all the toothy critters will eat this uh, you can even get into some pretty good walleye action at times with a spinner bait so in my opinion a chartreuse in white spinner bait is a great multi-species bait one that generates a ton of strikes and is an easy bait to use for the most part. So don't out overlook a spinner bait. You know, one of my favorite baits for guiding, I've talked about this a lot on the channel, is just a little 3.3 or 2.8 size swim bait. This is a Kytec uh, Swing Impact Fat. It's on here, a little eighth ounce head. And in this case, you know, a little swim bait like this is one of your best baits at generating strikes from all species. Catch a lot of panfish. You can catch crappie, perch on this, walleye, all the bass species, all the toothy critters. You even catch, if you drag it on the bottom, you catch a lot of drum on it too. 
Um, it's really a very good bait at generating lots of strikes. So a small swim bait is going to be an absolute must if you're just trying to catch fish of any species. So do not forget about your small swim baits. You know, and swim baits, as you get bigger, tend to generate lots of strikes as well from all the same species, but you will limit the number of bites you get. And as soon as you get over kind of that 3.3 size, you don't catch as many crappie, you don't catch as many uh, white bass, you don't catch as many perch on it. But uh, just know the smaller the swim bait, the more bites for more species. Another one that I love to throw for all the species that we have up here in the in the northern part of the world, as well as down south, is a lipless like this Berkeley War Pig. The sexier shad color is one of my favorites. And this is just a great bait for generating strikes. Man, I can't tell you that in times I've gotten into schools of white bass and crushed them on it. You know, we all know the bass species love this. It's one of the best baits for fishing for walleye. If you've got a good walleye run where you're at, like on the Fox River over by the Green Bay area, everyone is throwing lipless crankbaits for them. Like that's one of the things that they love. Uh, on Green Bay, they love a lipless. You know, musky, pike, you catch, you you will literally catch everything on a lipless crankbait. Uh, again, at, you know, at Clarks Hill, I caught some giant crappie throwing a lipless around. Uh, so you'll catch pretty much everything. Again, it's a, a good shad imitation bait. The sexier shad color is a good one that generates a lot of strikes. And I just would never write off a lipless in terms of getting bit. Uh, the last one I want to go over with you again is a jerk bait. You know, we talk a lot about jerk baits in this world, but a jerk bait is a great bait at generating strikes. Any uh, game fish for the most part will eat a jerk bait. If you can get it down close enough to their wheelhouse, meaning you know, if you've got some shallower walleyes, they 100% will eat a jerk bait. All your toothy critters will do it. All your bass species will do it. Uh, you know, crappie, white bass, pretty much any game fish that eats minnows or shad will eat a jerk bait like this one. This is the Berkeley Stunna, uh, Northern Lights color, one of my favorite colors. Uh, just another really good bait for generating strikes. So if you're looking it trying to just catch fish try these baits you really might want to stay away from some bottom dragging baits your jigs aren't going to generate nearly as many strikes uh, from other species most plastic baits seem to not generate as many strikes the worms that type of thing you really want to be throwing a minnow imitating bait if you want to catch all game fish and some pan fish that feed on uh, minnows and shad and just forage species. So hopefully this was helpful for some of you guys that are just looking at generating strikes. Pick up these baits. I'll put the links for each of these in the video description. So if you want to look at them a little bit closer, you can go and do that. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow.